To understand periodontal pockets and how they are reduced, it's necessary to understand some simple dental anatomy. The roots of teeth are surrounded by bone, providing a stable and secure foundation. In a periodontally healthy tooth, a probe placed at the junction of the tooth and gum will slip under the gum 1 to 3 millimeters or so. Healthy gum tissue is attached to the tooth. If plaque is allowed to accumulate around the neck of the tooth, especially between the teeth, the gum responds by becoming red, inflamed, and swollen. This stage of periodontal disease is called gingivitis and is characterized by bleeding gums upon brushing or flossing. The tip of a probe now slips further under the gum before it stops because the gum is swollen. Plaque that collects now is more difficult to remove because it hides under the swollen gum. Bacteria forms and grows in the pocket. Eventually, loss of supporting bone occurs. The longer the pocket is left untreated, the more extensive the bone loss can be. Continual destruction of bone eventually will result in the loss of teeth. If pocket depths are reduced, you will be able to self-clean all areas of your teeth. This will help to minimize plaque and bacteria accumulation, pocket formation, and new periodontal disease. Scaling and root planing is the first step in pocket reduction. It is usually done by quadrant, that is, upper right, upper left, and so on. A local anesthetic is used to ensure your comfort. Accumulated plaque, calculus, and bacteria are removed from the pocket. The surfaces of the crown and root of the tooth are left as smooth as possible, allowing for maximum ease in cleaning and to inhibit the formation of new plaque and calculus. After the pockets are reduced, personal home care will help prevent them from recurring.